in Schoolbox. A course is technically made up of a course page and at least one unit page. Collectively, they can be referred to as a course. Every year, teachers teach a different cohort of students and as such, class pages are archived annually to allow for class content to be created for a specific group of students. Alternatively, course pages remain visible and are used by staff on an annual basis to update resources and activities. Courses can be used in a number of different ways in a junior school context in Schoolbox. This video will show you some of the ways you can use them, depending on your school requirements. Our first example demonstrates how a junior course can be set up with functionality that is very similar to a secondary course. This option is useful for junior school situations where students interact and use technology on a regular basis. This may be in the higher years of junior school, so from grade four upwards, and is for classes who are given specific projects and assessments to do. A course page would be set up as an overview of the subjects covered at this level. Unit pages could be created for each core and specialist subject. The benefit for a unit page here is that it can be used to organise resources for a subject and a course builder can be used to create student tasks and assessments. This also means that teachers could post homework for further learning for students to complete at home. This example can be useful for schools wishing to organise and keep their resources and activities consistent throughout a course and works best when students work on specific projects or assessment tasks. The second course is similar to the previous example. However, it uses units as the core skills being focused on for this particular level. Learning activities can be built into the units for students to submit work, if they are old enough, from the class page, or just to provide feedback to the student and or the parent. Students do not need to interact directly with these activities. Teachers can just use them to show parents what is being learnt and give feedback on their progress. You can populate a course builder with only a few major projects, or as many as you wish. This example works best for students at a lower level, perhaps grades two or three and above, who do not regularly use technology in the classroom. Our third example has a simple junior course setup with a priority on parent communication and feedback. The course page here has an overview of what is being taught throughout the year. The unit pages act more like sub-pages under the course, where the feedback can be broken up into stages, subjects, or in a basic numerical order. It should be noted that rubrics could also be added to the due work, which here is used for feedback, to make it easier for teachers to give feedback to parents and keep a consistent process aligned to curriculum descriptors. Furthermore, it allows teachers to give regular and consistent feedback with examples of student work, which is key to the early stages of student learning. Just like this example. Schools may choose to use this option for a continuous reporting model.